Yo, what is up everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. James Banco in the building. And today, real quick, yo, OKC signed Nerlens Noel to a two-year deal for the vets minimum. That's very tough. That is very tough. Now, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but last season with uh with Noel, when he was in Dallas, they was low-key home, my man. All right? They wanted to resign him. He didn't want to play there, though. So, they set that nigga out down there the whole season, diminishing any type of value he had. When he was playing, he looked like a max guy. I ain't going to lie. He looked like a type of player that Clint Capella is. You know, some shit like that. And the fact that the Thunder were able to get him on the minimum... That is very tough. Now, I don't know if he gonna start because I mean he should him or Jeremy Grant should be starting at the four, not Melo. Melo shouldn't be starting. Melo should be on the bench. If the nigga don't want to take the bench, roll. Get that nigga off the team, bro. That nigga gotta go. You can wave him, wave him like the Pistons did Josh Smith. Just get rid of that nigga, dog. Or try to renegotiate the nigga contract so y'all can have some more cap. Oh, y'all can't. Because a nigga opted in. That's tough. Get that nigga off the team, dog. The nigga don't play no defense. The nigga be missing wide open shots. The nigga is useless. I will give him credit, though. You know, he took the role they gave him. You know, he wasn't complaining or anything. He played to the best of his abilities. But the nigga old. And it ain't much he can do outside of shoot middies and shoot out of the triple threat it ain't it ain't too much the nigga can do no more all right it ain't no knock on him the niggas his, his skills is pretty much useless at this age in his career all right but back to back to nerland's noel this is a great signing by the okc thunder they just gotta get rid of carmelo now at the end of the day because i mean nerland's noel could definitely start again he can start at the four he can even play some backup five to Steven Adams. Granted, he's very, you know, very thin. He's not the strongest guy on the court, but the nigga can block shots and he can finish above the rim. And he's he's good around the rim too. I wouldn't necessarily say he's a like he's a great post player, but you know, you can lob it up to him. He can finish in traffic, you know, every now and then. But great signing for the Thunder on the minimum deal. And you know, big ups to them. They're making some moves. They are making some moves. Uh, they still need to get some shooting. Um, their defense is going to be crazy. As long as Melo does not start, their defense, they're going to have the best defense in the league. All right? They're going to have the best defense in the league if Melo is not starting. Because they were already in that realm last year with the nigga starting. Imagine if you put that nigga on the bench and you starting Jeremy or Nerlens Noel. That defense is going to be stout. It's going to be on a level. It, it might be even better than Utah's defense, to be real with you. It might be even better. But, yo, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Or was this a good signing for the Thunder? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new. Clicking and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Com.